Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Septic. This is episode 11. Last episode, there was a world download. Hopefully, I remember to put that in the description. Um, and, uh, yeah, today, dudes, last time, what, what did we do? We got into, oh, we did the chocolate, chocolate lair. Yeah, and I'm actually on my way back there. I need to collect some more monolith uh, stones. Today, the main goal, I just mined out some, some coal that I found on the way. Uh, the main goal, we're going to set this up very quickly, the horse press, and uh, get our uh, coal blocks. Um, but today, the main goal must be to get into, or to, to complete, if we can, this uh, ritual, which will require us to do a few things. So we're going to need a demonic will, which means that we need to get into blood magic. Um, <clears throat> we also need the blank teleporter, which we were looking into last time. And I think, I think as long as we can, yeah, we got to get into blood magic to get this thing. Oh, and this requires redstone. No, there's got to be another recipe. Okay, cool. Cool. Yeah, so um, we need to get our blood altar up and running. And we need to make another coral pearl, which shouldn't be a problem. We made one last time. And we should be able to make the blank teleporter. And then we also need this guy, which is an imprint of a demonic entity attached to a creature. I haven't played around with blood magic since 1.7. It's uh, changed a lot, I've heard. But as you can see, we kind of have a sub quest here for blood magic. So my plan is I'm going to go back to the lair here real quick snag some more uh bloodstone or no not bloodstone um monolith stone Ooh, i think i've run the wrong way now yes i have hmm. oh you know what i got my raft i'm cool i got my raft with me um yeah snag some more of that uh, monolith stone because oop, what the crap hello why okay okay why is it sunken no yeah, beautiful thing. You've been a friend for so long. Thank you. There we go. There we go. Let's put this guy here so I can see where I'm going. Uh, snag some more monolith stone. We're going to need it for a few things. And, ooh, you know what? I wouldn't mind getting a few more of these things for the altar design. We didn't really have time to finish that up last time. Uh, oh, this is terra clay. Oh, I remember. We found this as well. This is a nice looking block. If we can get it back into that shape, can we? Let's see. Uh, no, we can't. This was the... I remember that we looked into this for something, and this these we can't use for anything yet, so... Okay, I was hoping that that was the other, the stone th thing. I'm going to attempt something pretty scary here, actually saying that uh, there's a guy there. So maybe not. I thought I could run down here and... <laughs> and get myself... Uh-oh. That's not good. Get myself a wall built uh, for the lair. And then mine out this entire staircase. Because, I mean, we're probably going to need this monolith stuff. Uh, and I've got, a, I've got a little bit so far. And can I redo these? If I... No, you can't. Okay. Cool. Cool. Let me look. I blocked it. Blocked the evil creatures. Okay, nice. So now I can... If I just block off all the water here as well, I can easily farm these stones at least. And that's nice. So I'm going to grab all of these. Uh, because, yeah, they will be they will be useful for sure. And then, uh, if we want to, I was kind of hoping to find another one of these. Um, another one of these layers closer to us in the future. Because I don't know how much we need to farm them. But if we want to, we can, we can find one and then build a proper farm for them. Uh oh no! God dang it! They attacked me through the wall as I was digging out the roof. And I fell all the way down. Ah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is bad. This is so far away. It's ridiculous. It takes more than half a day to run all the way back here. Uh, this death compass is a really neat thing, by the way. Um, oh, what did it say? Sneak. Sneak on your grave to retrieve your items. Yeah, we know about that. 
Uh, let's see if I can get this. So I was I was like chilling up here, digging these out, and I forgot that they can climb. But my grave is down here. Hopefully I can get it like this. No, okay. Uh, <laughs> please. Just let me. What? Why doesn't it? Oh, do I need to stand on it? Yeah, I need to stand on it. Uh oh, like that. Uh huh. Nice, okay. That's all my new items <laughs> that I brought, because it switches. Cool, okay, so I think we're good. I was a little bit scared on how to get uh, my stuff back here, but uh, yeah, this should be good. I should make a chest or something. All right, uh, order is uh, recovered. So I got myself over a stack of monolith, which I think is going to be good. I wonder, I also grabbed some slate that I found around here. Uh, because I want to use that for designing the uh, the new room. I should get some more. And there's a little bit more over there. I may just get a few more things here. But then I'm going to head back home. And we're going to focus on the main thing. Which is getting into blood magic. Getting a new room set up in the base. Uh, ooh. And I keep collecting these uh, samples. I don't actually look for uh, uh, necessarily for mining them. Uh, but I just collect the samples because they every sample is obviously one ingot. So it's a pretty good trade. Oh my goodness, I did not realize this, but there's actually another layer right next to this one in the swamp here. Ooh, and this was like very hard to spot, right? So that means we may still have missed one in the swamp that I've uh that I have uh that I have uh, explored. I don't know, like I said, I don't know how much of this stuff we need. But the monolith stone is used for a lot of things. I want to create a, one of these guys today. Um, you can do a sacrificial altar, which I'm sure we're going to need. Energy collector. Um, energy relay. Pen like, a lot of things requires these monolith stones. So, <clears throat> and that's, that's the only, that's, that's only the things that we have unlocked so far. Finally home. That journey back took a long time because I went the wrong way and stuff. <laughs> anyway, the first thing we got to do here is we got to set up our uh, stomper or horse press. For the press to work, a 7x7 seven seven and two blocks high area is needed. The press to be placed in the middle. Yeah, okay. So, if you guys check this out, this is why I don't like this stuff. The, the old thing that we had here, the grindstone, the lead despawned. Right? Hold on the invalid 7x7 seven seven area. Is that because of this? Yeah, the, anyway, the lead uh, despawned and so the horse disappeared and it's not a good time. I suppose... Let's see if this fixes itself when... Yeah, okay, so that's cool now. I suppose if we were to build or t snag some of these guys and make a proper barrier around it, it's probably going to work out better. You know what? We may just as well... Place it over here instead, I suppose. And make the area a little bit bigger than 7x7. Seven seven. Alright, there we go. So, let's get you in here. Let's get rid of this rock. <laughs> Just because. And let's close this up. Someone suggested that we should have the rabbit totem here. Allowing us to jump over these. That's a really good suggestion. However, we can now make the fence gate. So, that is good. Okay, so let's attach you to you. Cool. And how do I... I guess I just... Oh, that's cool. Oh, okay. So it automatically put nine in there. <laughs> and you work, dude. You work. It's actually getting... Uh, yeah, it's doing it pretty quick. 56%. Uh, horse press. Let's just have a look at what this dude can do for us. Um, coal. Oh, we can make dirt with it. That's sweet. And the shards, the clay balls, the gems. This is probably what we need if we have the gems. And then washi, which <laughs> I don't know what that is. Uh, okay, some some things. And that is done, so I get that out. Nice. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I think once we get blood magic up, this is the last little thing we need. Excuse me. I mean, I'm sorry I'm in the way, Mr. Horse. But yeah, uh, we have everything else except for the blood magic stuff. And I also guess the best thing to do here is, once done, take the lead and put it in the chest. And that way, we won't lose it. Because leads are like, they require leather, and you guys know leather by now. And we'll just keep him in there, and whenever we need to use that machine, we can do that. And I could probably put up my grindstone in there as well. 
Uh, maybe not. But uh, anyway, <clears throat> the grinding I don't mind doing manually. We got both the mill and the, the old grindstone, so that's all good. We'll put this guy in the miscellaneous chest for now. And uh, I think we are ready to expand the base. Like I said, I wouldn't mind having a room dedicated for blood magic. So uh, I do know that once you get into the big altars with blood magic, you're going to require quite a bit of uh, space. But for now, I'm going to make another... Let's break this guy and let's put the this thing here with a hammer. You know what? I kind of preferred it down one. I kind of preferred it over there. Put the grindstone in the corner. That's cool. Let's actually put these back there because I need the raisin later. Uh, yeah, I I um I know that we are I know that we need a big room, but for now I'm going to make another nine by nine room here, and possibly we can make the altar outside later or whenever we need to. So this is the way I'm going to expand this and create like a magic room. So I'm going to go. Uh, that's the wall. So one, two, three, four, and five. This is going to be the center of the room. And as far as uh, the shape of it, we'll do the same. But we'll uh, we'll we'll do a slightly different design. I've also since the last episode, I've also collected one, two, three, four. I've also collected one, uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, I've also collected a bunch of willow leaves, which I'm going to use in the ceiling for this room. I think. All right, my room has been prepared for uh, decorating. I realized, though, with the blood magic and stuff, we probably, <laughs> like, the altar requires you to sacrifice stuff. So uh, we're probably not going to have the altar permanently in here. But we're probably, anyway, going to need a room for um, for other stuff and things. Um, like, we're probably going to need a room for, for our magic storage and stuff. And one of my things, one of my ideas with this base is that I kind of want to have different design, uh, different design rooms uh, in the base here, like different styles. I think that's really cool. So we got the forge room, obviously we got the hobbit hole and this one will be a slightly different. So I'm not quite sure what I want to do here. But I was originally thinking of going with completely black walls with the with the slate, or I guess it's like a grey color. Um, so we'd fill this up like a so. I realized the corners I didn't have to dig out. Cool. And then for the floor, maybe we'll go with a spruce flooring. That could look pretty pretty good. Um, <clears throat> we could mix in the dark or the the oak. Just like we did on the wall in the Hobbit hole. Uh, I really like that in general. There's also the Ironwood where... Which we could potentially kind of use in here as well. Either like that or we could use it in the walls. Don't know if I want to go and like add corners. Maybe we want to have corners to this room. Because that will change up the... That will change up the shape slightly which is completely fine. Um... It's always good when you build bases, by the way, to have some sort of rules to apply to. It always helps a little bit. Yeah, maybe we'll do something like that. That's a pretty good mix. It's not perfect to, with the slate, but it's not it's not bad either. Uh, oops, I didn't pick that up like that. Okay, there we go. Um, and then in the ceiling, like I said, I do want to do, if it looks good, I've collected a bunch of these uh, beautiful leaves, the willow. Or the, yeah, the willow leaves. And maybe we could mix that up with some yew leaves. Because they look very similar. But have, in color, but have a bit different uh, texture to them. I do love having these, uh, oh. Maybe you can't place willow. Maybe they will always be spawned. Am I going crazy here? Or is it maybe ghost blocks? I don't know. But yeah, I do really like to have leaves in the in the ceiling. I think uh, I think it looks really sweet. Oh, and I can't place that like that. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead as well and place a block behind here, <laughs> so we don't have the dirt blocks there. We're actually very lucky here with the with the height. Um, kind of gonna have to wait and see if that despawns, I guess. But yeah, I think that's a pretty good um, room design. Maybe we could have like, oh yeah, they do. Is it? That's. That's weird. These do not despawn at all. And they shouldn't once placed. 
Is it the U leaves? I thought we used them before. But maybe we didn't. Maybe they are like different because they're from a from a different mod or something. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Alright, so I think this is uh, coming together very nicely. Um, I do like the uh, the randomness. I added these trees here. Kind of make it look like roots. Um, very much inspired by my Foolcraft 2.12 base that I have. Uh, which, by the way, if you haven't checked out that series, go check that out. Check it out. out. It's a live stream series. Um, but yeah, I, I really do like this. I also added a ladder over here. This leads out to... Boom, boom, our Abyssal Craft Walter area, which we also need to design at some point. <clears throat> as far as storage goes, I just kind of threw some crates in the corner. I think that looks pretty neat. There's no order to it yet. We'll see how much we'll, we'll be storing in here. Uh, I went with the horse and the uh, rabbit, and then three of the buffalo. So we have haste 2, speed, and jump boost in here. I really like this jump boost. It's not too tall. It's kind of perfect. Um, but now, what I want to do is, we gotta get into blood magic, and I realized already that this video may run long. I did a lot of stuff in the beginning of this video with the, uh, Shogoth, so I may cut out, I may have cut out most of that by the time you're watching this video. But yeah, we need to create a blood altar, because we need the last block for the teleporter thing, is the demonic will, and, uh, we need to create the apprentice blood orb. Which we get from putting a Corellian Pearl into the altar. So, that's what we will do now. The Blood Altar. To make the Blood Altar, we're going to need uh, some Bronze, some Smooth Stone, a Furnace. All of that is good. And we need a de Demonic Will. <clears throat> so, let me just see. Yeah, we do have some Bronze. I have all the stuff for the, for the thing here. I also smelted up some more Tin that we're going to need. This will actually need to smash down. And my Husky is currently eating her food. Timely, if you hear that in the background. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, to get this guy, we are going to need something called a snare. This guy here, rudimentary snare. And this is also a quest as well. So for that, we need the tin that I just crushed up. That's why I needed that. I need some string, which I also collected in between cutscenes, and some ash. Ash, we actually have. We got that from me accidentally smelting down a log in a furnace. So that's how you get the... So you get the ash, just like that. Uh, we'll also need some smooth stone and some stone. So let me... Do I have... Oh, yes. I have a lot of smooth stone. And I also did some harvest and stuff because I was running low on protein. So we got some new buffalo meat to eat. So uh, what we got to do is we got to throw... I think it says throw at a monster and then kill them to obtain their demonic will. We're going to need a total of two of these to begin with. And I'm actually going to use the hunting dimension. Which, by the way, we should totally make a night vision totem in here. And totally make a mob farm in here as well. Which we could make. Um, but for now, let's just see if we can make this happen. Alright, so let's try and throw this guy. Okay, we threw it on the skeleton. And then all we should need to do... Hello. Is kill him. And I think I saw it. Hold on, can I do another one? Like I said, we're gonna need two for now. We got one. Okay, so maybe I have to throw it at the mobs before I start make uh, dealing damage to them and like I said I haven't played with blood magic in so long so I am kind of a little bit worried <laughs> that I won't know the mod anymore because a lot of things have changed but the basic idea oh, okay it's not a hundred percent drop rate then ah I see you see when they don't get the particles hmm maybe we were just lucky on the first one yeah if they don't get the particles it doesn't seem like it drops but yeah, the basic idea of blood magic... Direwolf? The basic idea of blood magic is you uh, use blood from either mobs or yourself. It is eventually you want to use mobs because you need a lot of blood to create uh, cool stuff and like magic stuff. I've always been a big fan of blood magic, but I've also always been kind of reluctant to <laughs> have it in my own packs and stuff. Um, but anyway... We'll see how we do this here. I'm gonna grab... I don't have any oak wood, so we'll grab one of these uh, cedar things. I'm gonna set up a, a night vision totem thing. We'll, we'll definitely come back and make like a mob farm here. I've seen some suggestions on Twitter for how to make a good mob farm in here and stuff, but uh, yeah. Uh, we'll come back and, and make that at some point. 
Night vision! Yay! Okay, so I've thrown one of these and no particles, so let's try on that guy. Nothing. Ah, there we go. Okay, I wonder if there is like a time limit. So how quick I have to kill him. Uh oh, there's a purple creeper there. I would not have seen that without the night vision. No, please. Gets pretty expensive pretty quick to make these snares. I think I missed opportunity. Oh, that's an ember scolem that shoots those things. Okay. Can make four more of these and then I'm out of string. Which ain't too bad to, to make new of. But hopefully, yeah, so that creeper that exploded gave me gave me weakness for a long time. Hopefully we can uh, we can not step into that garbage again. Also, this night vision is kind of annoying because uh, and I want to get the wolf because it it wears off so quickly, and I should probably clean clean up these zombies before I attempt again. Okay, here we go. Let's equip ourselves with the stuff we found. Whew. That was a mess of mobs. No string though, which is what we need. But okay, um, let's try on... What are these red orbs? I don't actually know if that has to do with blood magic. This blinking is very, very annoying. <laughs> very annoying. And I don't understand why it wears off as much as it does. But whatever. Um, maybe we'll give ourselves another enderman. All right. Nope, didn't work. I wonder if I can try it again on the same mob. Yes. Okay, now, please die and give me your thing. Nice. There we go. Okay, so you can throw it at the same mob over and over again until they get the particles. And that's how you get the demonic will. Sweet. And we got two of them now. <clears throat> so we should be able to do both the teleporter and the altar. All right, so I think we got everything we need to do what we want to do here. <laughs> so let's start by crafting our blood altar. Sweet. And this is a very cool thing. So this is where you craft most of the things in blood magic. Hopefully, you know what? Yeah, okay. Whew, got a bit scared. We also got a Sandrine Scientium. Why do they have to call everything so weirdly? Um, you know what? Also, I may remove this mod that changes the font and everything because I don't like it. I think it's kind of weird. And that's actually a mod called Better Fonts, I think. But anyway, we got this guy. The next thing we need to do is we need to get ourselves a dagger, a sacrificial dagger, which requires a sharp bone and two bronze. And I think if we stand close to this guy and just stab ourselves like that, we got some blood in there. I don't know how to see how much blood we have in there, but we're going to need to transfer one of these guys over to and I think we can do that again you can also kill yourself with this by the way so you want to be a little bit worried about that or careful about that I don't know if we can see how much LP is in there I thought we could see that in Wayla but yeah we need to transfer we need 5000 LP to do this process here uh, in order to get to the ritual that we want to do so I guess I will just continue to stab myself. I wonder if we can uh, smelt down. I made some more tin here. I wonder if we can smelt down rotten flesh into blood. I think I saw something about that. Uh, and then use that blood to make uh, to get blood for blood magic. I'm not sure. Somehow. Um, yeah, here. Yeah, we can smelt that down to blood. Which we can then make into congelated blood. Which we can put in the blood altar and create a weak blood orb. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is probably a thing that we want. Because this way we can see how much blood we have in there. I, hmm. This is what I mean with me not <laughs> knowing, knowing this mod too well anymore. <laughs> But okay, I don't know if that's going to be a thing now or if we should just continue to do this until until this uh, transform. I think there is like a blood loss as well. So the blood uh, in this mod is transferred to your personal network. Oops, I just wasted the last of those. Um, it's transferred into your personal blood network. <clears throat> it's kind of confusing. It's kind of demonic and weird, <laughs> but it's, uh, it's also kind of cool. 
Ah, crap. What am I doing? I killed myself. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay. Well, you know, it's not a terrible tactic. Do we get mystery meat? That's from ourselves. Okay. Well, this guy is definitely filled up, but I don't know how much five five thousand sounds like a lot. And like I said, I think we can smelt these down. I just don't know. I think it's four per ball, and it's four balls per a thing. So we would need sixteen in here. I don't know if that's going to be useful to make the first tier thing or the first orb, because the teleporter will require the second orb. Let's cook up our own meat, I guess. <laughs> oh, that's so freaking weird. And we're gonna need some grain in our body, so let's just do that. Um, I think I'm pretty bad with my nutrition. Did I just check this? Fruit and protein is falling behind, so let's have some. Actually, eat those. And for proteins, I guess we're kind of running low again. Oh, we got a chicken. That's the first uh, first time I got a chicken, actually. Hmm. Cool. Oh, look at this. We need a tier 2 altar. I'm stupid. We need a tier 2 altar to do this, so... We're not going to get to the teleporter. I didn't even look. Didn't even look. Okay, so then the blood option may not be a terrible idea. Um, crap. So we're not going to get there today. After all this time, I'm still not getting further. Okay, but let's create a... The first tier uh, blood orb then. Because that got to be... <coughs> blood orb. This got to be the tier 1, yeah. Here one. So we're gonna need like the runes and stuff now. These, which are really cool. And yeah, then you need the you need the orb and you need blank slates, which I think is just stone. Yes, that's just stone in there. Now, here's another thing. If you oh, and that's working now. If you make uh if you uh if you have mobs nearby that you kill, they will the blood from them, if you kill them with some sort of dagger, I think it's this guy, uh, which is just a sword in the altar oh but we need a black quartz one which i don't have we probably need to find some black quartz honestly because i haven't found any of this stuff uh but how would we crush it uh i don't know if we can find that yet oh uh, we probably can but yeah with that sword you can kill mobs nearby and then um and then uh, their blood will go into this so you don't have to be as evil and stab yourself anymore but yeah long story short we're gonna need a, a tier 2 altar for this uh to, to get to the teleporter so that's gonna require eight runes um around the altar which already then voids <laughs> avoids the room of this being a blood magic room unless we kind of expand and build it into the wall but yeah, i'm gonna need uh blank slates turns into i think it's two for one rune yeah two and then some stone so I'm gonna need a bunch of these. Okay, so this is forming into a block, 16 rotten flesh, and then this turns into blood orbs. Nice. And then these guys we cook up to become the first orb. And this is a reusable item. This is like your uh like your Necronomicon or whatever for blood magic, I believe. I'm trying to be like teaching here because I don't really I don't really know the mod too well myself. By the way, the rest of these we can hang out to create food items, <laughs> which is kind of gross. But uh, they give you a health boost, so that sounds pretty good. I think I'm going to do that. I don't think I need more of them, but I'm not sure. Uh, I do need more food, though. I'm running very low here. Um, which is weird, because I thought I was at a state with food where everything was kind of good and chilling. Oh, there we go. It's done. Nice. So now we have the weak blood orb. I think we gotta bind it somehow. Yeah, shift right click to ourselves and current owner is Kaledi 5. So now, if I do that, that's gonna store it in the orb and then I can put the orb there and you can see the purple particles. They will transfer the blood that was in, in it into the thing, I think. Um, I think you have to write like a command to see the blood maybe. I'm not sure. But that doesn't really matter. Uh, I'm gonna need 16 of these, these blank slates to create the blank runes. And we can try and craft up one of these guys. Um, and then I guess I'll do the rest of camera in between episodes. Because we are running very short on time. Need smooth stone for that process. Nice. These are super, super good looking, by the way. And basically, like I said, we're going to need eight around. So, you know what? We'll keep this room. And 
<coughs> excuse me. We will just for the tier 2 altar. Just place them around like that. And look at how nice they are looking. They are beautiful as hell. I know dude. I know. Yeah, so let me do that just before we end this episode here. I know, I see my recording time that I have is, is two and a half hours so far. So, uh, it may be a very long episode. Or I may have done a good job at cutting it. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, and this thing, the automation here, comes super handy now. Because we can just put uh, all our cobblestone inside there to get the smooth stone. Free of charge. Um, and that is nice. We can also, of course, put it on the grills. Um... It can stack up to 16 on each grill. Because we're going to need a lot of the smooth stone now. So, yeah, we can do this. And then pick it out free of charge as well. I like these uh, these things. It's a nice... Uh, it's a great way to stay in shape. The same family guy. Boom. That should be my last blank rune. And now... Can I see that somehow? We should have a tier 2... How do I see? There should be a possibility to see how much blood I have in here. But yeah, now we should have a tier 2 uh, uh, altar here. Which is super cool. Um, and so, okay, now we're out of blood. I think uh, there, is, there is some sort of waste to this as well, by the way. One more time. Okay, good. Uh, living on the edge. <laughs> yeah, um, so this guy now should be able to... Um, make it, uh, should be able to, to make the, the next thing that we need here. So this guy. But, like I said earlier, yeah, so you can see that that's working now because of the particles. However, we need a crap ton of blood to make that happen. And I don't think it's a good thing to leave that guy in there. I think it's uh, slowly, all the time, losing blood. So I should probably not do that. But, yeah, um, we'll come back next, next time for this because this episode is, uh, I'm out of time, or we are out of time for sure. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed these back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back SevTech episodes as well. Thank you for all the support. Make sure to hit the like button if you enjoy the video. I'm going to take that guy out, waste that blood that I just, just used. And um, yeah, we'll come back next time and we'll do... We'll definitely get to the teleporter <laughs> next time because now we are just so freaking close. I didn't realize we needed a tier 2 uh, thingy. But yeah, thank you guys for watching, have a fan-freaking-tastic evening, and I will see you dudes in the next episode.